my past few videos I talked a lot about loft invite amplifiers, very low power amplifiers and uh, efficient speakers driving them. And uh, I think there's the question that everyone is really curious about how good can these amps be? Because typically most of the audio community views these amplifiers and these solutions with very efficient speakers as uh, cost saving methods of uh, if you cannot buy uh, an expensive amplifier, expensive speakers, then it's a get around way how to build something affordable so that you can have that kind of sound. Or, but uh, I think all of us are very curious. What is the sky? What is the limit when you decide to go your own way? And uh, here now I'm showing you a very special website. It's Glow in the Dark Audio. Uh, there's the web address, glowinthedarkaudio.com. And uh, this is a fantastic website. I've been uh, looking at it for years now. And um, and he is an avid audiophile who is really investing, uh, investigating uh, single driver speakers and low efficiency amplifiers. And as I said before, you cannot really commercially buy loft invite amplifiers, low power amplifiers. However, it doesn't mean they do not exist. And here he will show us showcase here when we look at the amp section these are all low power amplifiers that were made uh, handmade by audiophiles tube amp lovers and these are all like really small series uh, productions <laughs> I mean the exception of the CJ the Conrad Johnson as you can see, they also have a 45, but most of them are just uh, like small production. Yamamoto is also, it's, it's a Japanese low power amplifier. So in Japan, you can buy low power amps. So, so there's loads and loads of amplifiers here that, that you can, uh, drool about if if you look at it there's like 71a it's under one watt output power so now we are truly going uh, low power there and here there's the darling amplifier uh, i i can tell you about this amp later on not this specific one but the darling amplifier topology because that's how I started my audio journey. That was the first amp that I built from scratch. It was a Darling amplifier and, and it was the best choice of my life. The best thing I did in audio, that's what really kick-started my audio journey. Uh, and there, there's a Deckware amp. He's looking at another Deckware more. But mostly here you can see uh, amplifiers made by small people. For example, here's one. Uh, it actually has a couple of Radu Tarta amplifiers. He is a fantastic uh, person. Uh, I have touched base with him in on in email, and 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 his uh, amplifiers are really works of art. And uh, if you can get one of his amps you will be in for a treat and i can tell you that that his amps will really well outperform anything that you can buy commercially and here i would like to show in his uh, web page when you go on into the opinion section uh, look at this setup it's it's wonderful absolutely fantastic he has uh, lots of ideas on uh, amplification and, uh, and I, I would say that I completely agree with him. And uh, you can just go on and, and just have a look at it. It's a lot of excellent information. And he says like, there's this point, how can one what do anything? 
So many of us is thinking about is one watt enough or when you look at the Darling amp or the 71A, not even one under one watt amplifier. And there's, he, he quotes Susumu Sakuma and uh, he was a Japanese designer. Unfortunately, he passed away. He had, um, I would say he still has a cult following, but he had awesome ideas. For example, he started uh, doing or promoting uh, the driving a power tube with another power tube. So uh, to uh, focus on linearity, he's also a huge proponent of uh, transformer coupling and uh, lots of uh, interesting ideas. Uh, there's lots of schematics of his uh, design available online. Just Google his name, Susumu Sakuma, and uh, you will find really, truly amazing designs that you can uh, drool on and, and try to build it with. And if you do, you will be in for a treat. And then Sakuma said, Sakuma Sama said that excellent speakers refuse brute power. The most important goal is not power, but energy and frame of tone. This is beautifully said. And then Steve Deckard's quote, if the first what sucks, who wants another one? So with that mind frame, you can have a look at other things. And basically uh, he is saying down here, I want, he has beautiful photography. He's a professional photographer. And, and uh, this is a true drooling site. So if I want to drool, then I, I just look at his website. He posts always new things. Uh, somewhere he has some information on, on this page where he describes the benefits of, uh, of, a, of an amplifier built by someone who just builds an amp or two or maybe just a few maybe says one amplifier a year. Uh, and then he says that basically a, a manufacturer who manufactures for a price point cannot compete with an amateur, with a person who just builds because of true love, because he loves what he builds and uh, can choose uh, the parts he wants to use. Because when you are a manufacturer, you have to use those parts which are commercially viable, which present a commercially viable solution. Often, if you want a production run, you have to use such tubes that are uh, commercially available in large quantities, use parts that uh, you can uh, build by the hundreds, thousands, and if you make a unique amplifier, uh, then uh, you do not have to worry about uh, having uh, thousands of uh, certain parts available to you. Um, and also, when you build for your own pleasure, you are not forced to participate in the loudness wars to, to create a product that sells because of its measurement. So here you are free to pursue uh, just for listening pleasure and get the max out of it. So this is what I wanted to show all of you. Glow in the dark audio, check him out. You will find also not just uh, amplifiers, uh, tubes, opinions, but speakers as well. He shows you a gazillion different options for single driver speakers. I haven't really talked about these yet, but these are a huge uh, passion of mine, single driver speakers. I, I made, um, actually these are not just single driver because they have an accompanying tweeter, uh, but I built open baffles with them and they are just absolutely amazing. The best rock and roll speakers on the planet. It's phenomenal. And uh, of course, there are other great speakers as well. I'm not saying that uh, if, if you build one with that, it will be better than anything you can buy for any money. But what I say is that you will just fall in love with them and, and you won't have the need to uh, get an, uh, anything else. So my need arose because the woofer corners, 
was punched through. So someone, some prying fingers destroyed the woofer and I had to move to a smaller apartment so I could not bring the large open buffers with me. So sometimes uh, life brings you such a curveball. But then here for you, there's a Diatone P610. This is an amazing driver. I'm going to show it to you uh, later on. Anyway, so now I just wanted to show you that there is like a plethora of uh, drivers for low, low power speakers. And, and these drivers range from the cheapest to the most esoteric, most expensive. And you can find it here. And for all of them, you can click on it. And then he has a review attached to it. How it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Phenomenal. Wow. So thank you for checking in and check out Glow in the Dark Audio. Thank you. Bye-bye.